Fear not, okay? Have a little trust in me. I will not spoil the end game. Avengers, but we're in the end game now. So expect me to not give you a whole lot of information on this movie because, I mean, Marvel's been trying very hard to mitigate information that's getting out. Uh, they're working hard to police spoilers. They're trying to keep piracy from happening. So I will tell you what they told you. Here we go. So at the end of Avengers Infinity War, of course, Thanos snapped his fingers, completed his goal, killed half the universe. Half of all living things are dead. So the people that didn't die have to find some way to pick up move on and, if possible, see if they can undo what happened. See if they can stop Thanos and get their friends back. But of course, it's not as easy as that nothing can ever be in a superhero movie. There's gonna be a little bit of a challenge along the way with certain things happening to certain people. But I will tell you this, this story does very much center around the original six Avengers. Cap, Iron Man, t uh, Thor, Hulk, Black Widow, and Hawkeye. For some reason, I forgot who the team was. But um, since they were the original kids on the block, and not the new kids on the block, that's a band, they are the ones that the story focuses on the most. It is uh, very much a sense of satisfaction and completion on their character arcs over the last however many years for each character. And I'll tell you, characters that you may not have had too much respect for in the past, like Hawkeye and Black Widow, kind of end up being pretty major scene stealers, if you want to call them that. Like, they, uh, they get their time in the sun, and if they hadn't won you over by now, this should do that for you. And if there's a character that you couldn't stand previously, like Captain Marvel, she's better in this movie as better. She's better in this movie than she was in her own as well. So don't freak out. You're not gonna want to vomit every time you see her on screen. I also want to say it seems like everybody that was involved in the cast reached deep down into their soul and found some sort of extra fire for their character this time around. It was, it was, there was something a little different everybody brought to their performances this time. I can't quite figure out what it was, but it's definitely there, and you'll know it when you see it. And I'll tell you, I really thought that there were going to be some, like, low moments, some drag in the story with a three-hour runtime that's bound to happen, right? There's going to be some downtime where nothing's going on, you're going to be bored out of your mind, right? No, absolutely not. That's not how it works in this movie. A lot of things work differently than you'd expect them to in this movie, but we'll get to that when I do my spoiler video. There's also a certain thing that happens in the movie that will remind you of another movie if you've seen that movie. And once you see it, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. I'm not going to tell you what it is, because we haven't gotten there yet. But I'm not even going to tell you, like, look out for it. Just when you get to this moment and you see what's going on, you'll be like, yeah, that's kind of like this movie. It's not a bad thing. It's not a good thing. It's just a thing. And it would be so easy to give props to the stunt coordinators, the fight choreographers, the stunt people. There's a weed whacker outside my house, don't worry about that. Uh, but I really want to give it to Christopher Marcus and Stephen McFeely for creating such powerful dialogue between the characters, because it's the characters talking to each other that lets you really feel the impact that Infinity War had on these people, like how they've come to cope with what's been going on, where they're at now, and how they got there. And another thing, there are some things that are jarring when you see them with certain characters, but after like 11 seconds you'll get used to it, you'll just accept it as the way things are, be able to move on, and embrace it as a part of the character. I promise you, it won't be too difficult. And there's probably nothing to actually hate about the movie, there's no like plot contrivances that I can think of, nothing that drags the movie down, there's just nothing but satisfaction from start to finish in one way or another. So before I start talking for too long, let's go ahead and rate this. Avengers Endgame, much like Infinity War before it, is spectabulous. So, Avengers Endgame, have you seen it? Actually, you know what? I'm gonna keep an eye on the comments on this video, and if I see anything that spoils the Endgame, even a little bit, I'm disabling comments for this video. I'm sorry I have to do it that way, but I know that there's people that will just be like, this happened to Thor, and it's just going to ruin the experience for people that haven't gotten a chance to go see it yet, because tickets sold out incredibly fast, so I want to do my part to mitigate spoilers as best as possible, much like Marvel did. So, if you spoil it, comments are going to get disabled. Sorry. But if you have any non-spoilery thoughts and you want to tell me about those, go ahead and post those in the comments, and uh, I'll take a very close look at them. But until next time, I leave you with this. Feel like dancing, dance with me First dance is always free